Hey guys, Dave Donovan here, club fitting specialist at Club Craft. Today I wanted to share a fitting with you that I had with Jeff this morning, give you the Club Craft takeaway of the day. When we took his clubs in the back and specked out his irons, we found a couple things that were pretty interesting to me. The loft and the lie weren't really that much of an issue to me. It was more so the flex of the clubs. When we flexed out Jeff's clubs, we found that the flex that said Uniflex really wasn't fit for his club head speed. So here's one of the shots that we had to start. This is his current club, his seven iron. Jeff came to me swinging at 77 miles an hour. The attack angle, the measurement of how far we hit down on the ball was great. His club path was well in to out and his club face on that particular shot was shut. That was Jeff's main concern today during the fitting. Dave, I hit it left, I hit it left. I thought a thicker mid-size grip would help me take some of the hand rotation out. In some cases, that's, that is the case. The hand rotation will come out of the shot. But however, it wasn't necessarily the grip itself that hurt Jeff, it was more as his release point. As we notice his carry distance, that's something, again, when we're fitting irons, I'm more concerned with carry than the total distance. That shot right there, as you can see on the screen, a little low launch, launch angle was 14, spin rate was a little on the low side at 4,600. And as I ask my assistant Richard to take me over here to one of these other shots, I wanna show you something else with, this, with these numbers as well. Club head speed dropped a little bit on that one. Attack angle stayed the same. Club path was pretty good. Face angle was a little open. So really the importance, what I talked to Jeff about, is shaft flex played a huge role for him. Once I take it to the next screen after testing a bunch of different shots today, we did come up with some winning combinations that I want to talk to you a little bit more about. So keep in mind, and I didn't change the length of his golf club, we changed the swing weight through the grip and we changed the shaft weight. He was in a lighter steel shaft, about 95 grams I would say, and I actually put him into a heavier, stiffer flex shaft. This combination was the winner today with the Callaway Apex CF16 forged irons. Similar loft to loft, guys. We didn't change this to a 26 degree 7 iron. This was a 1 degree loft change for Jeff. The biggest thing that I want to show you is his dispersion. One miss. We'll talk about dispersion a lot. Yes, he still had a little bit of fight with the face angle with the right hand, but when we click on some of these other shots, I want you to notice the ball speed increase. That particular ball speed was probably about 8 to 10 miles an hour greater, and that's really what we try to do when we do fittings here is increase that ball speed, as I mentioned, as much as we can. That happens to do a shaft flex, shaft length, swing weight, loft, lie angle, shaft design, shaft profile. And on this particular one, the path stayed the same. We didn't have as big of a miss to the left with the face. But again, I see a carry of 167 yards here versus some of the other ones we started earlier, which is more in the 155 yard range. So thanks for listening, guys. That was Clubcraft's takeaway of the day.